Hello, you guys. Today, we are gonna be customizing my iPad. It's about time, okay? It's about time that we showed some love to the iPad because recently we've been doing a ton of iPhone and MacBook videos. It's her time to shine now. And honestly, she needs a lot of work. She needs a major makeover because out of all of my devices, the iPad is sadly the one that I care the least about, especially when it comes to making it look pretty and customizing it. That all changes today. So let's get started. This is what um, she currently looks like. Let's just do a quick swipe through. No organization whatsoever, no layout. It looks really messy. It looks bad, okay? Like I said, she badly needs a makeover. First things first, of course, we're starting with the wallpaper. And since this is a Raya customization video, I come prepared with some wallpapers that I made. As you can see here, my current vibe for my next wallpaper is really just gradient. If you watch my iPhone video, then these three wallpapers will be familiar to you. However, even though I, I do think they're really cute, the thing with the iPad is because it's so huge, your wallpaper needs to be extra HD because if not, it'll look horrible. And this one, even though it looked great on my iPhone, on the iPad, it's just not HD enough. So I scoured Pinterest for more gradient wallpapers and I found these ones ones still not HD enough. So I made several variations, but these are the main ones. These ones that are favorited. This one, which I think is super cute. And this one, which I also think it's super cute. This one is just a little bit more like rainbowy. Let's try them both. Use as wallpaper. Okay, that is so cute. Let's do this for the home screen because it's a little bit more like muted and then this one let's try it as oh that's super cute too i think we'll do this for the lock screen and then the previous one for the home screen let's see girl that is so cute wait i love and let's look at the lock screen we love. And of course, as always, wallpapers will be linked below if you want them too. So now let's get into the home screen because girl, she's looking really messy. Do we want to deal with the widgets now or do you want to do apps? You know what? No, let's do widgets first. Honestly, I don't like any of the widgets that are on screen right now. We're just going to delete everything here. We're starting fresh. I downloaded all of these apps, these widget apps, and we're just going to mess around and see which ones. I'm going to be honest, I did experiment with some of these already because girl, you know me, okay? If I go in blind, I would literally be here filming this video for 10 hours. Like I'm not even kidding. So we did a little pre-work already. First, let's look at smile to do. This one to me is just a little bit much. You can change the color and you can even adjust the frequency. But again, it's too much for me. Like I prefer like a simple, straightforward to-do list. The dogs outside are like, going to war. Widget Smith. Oh, this one, I, 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 what am I trying to say? This one I did play around with a lot. There are like a ton of options. You can add photos if you just want like a static photo. You can do like the time. There's so many like templates, date, um, calendar, reminders. Yeah, so there are a ton of options, but I prefer color widgets, which we'll look at in a little bit. But this one's a really good option too. MD clock. This one is cute because there's so many like clocks to choose from so many cute options however when I tried to add it as a widget turns out this is the only free one all these other clocks you have to pay for so this was an automatic no for me next is bears this one is a countdown app, which is cute, but it's just not really my aesthetic. But it is really cute. Okay, never mind. I've been tapping on the wrong thing. You tap here, just make a countdown, and then you can choose. There's so many like themes. Again, it's super cute. It's just not really the aesthetic I'm going for, especially with the gradient. Like I'm going for more of a like, again, a very chill flowy vibe, no graphics. So next is to-do list. This one, oh my gosh. Can I not use this? Uh, apparently you need to pay for it, so we're moving on. Girl, this is the reason that I thought of even making this video. This widget inspired it all. It's called MD Vinyl and just wait, girl. <gasps> 
It's a vinyl widget. You connect it to your Spotify or your Apple Music and girl, it's a vinyl. Girl, you'll see later, okay, when we add the actual widget. It's so cute. Like, I saw this and I fell in love immediately. I fell so hard that I paid. Yeah, this is, this is a paid app. I paid 99 pesos, which is roughly around $2. And color widgets, this is my favorite widget app if you really wanna customize widgets. Between this and Widgetsmith, this is the one that gives you the most options for customization. It also has the best interface. So I already planned everything because knowing me, this would have taken me hours. So look at all our widgets. We'll, we'll organize those later. But this one, Widgetsmith, is the best. Let's do a sample so that you guys can see. This one, let's be honest, it's not cute, but you can change the background, you can change the font color, then you can change the actual font. But what I love about it is you can actually change the background and make it a photo instead. Look at that. And if you wanna change like the actual widget, just click here and there's so many options. Look, it can be the date and time, the weather, countdown, calendar, there are so many options. So now for the exciting part, let's actually fix this home screen. So first let's add all the widgets. I'm so excited to show you MD Vinyl. Here it is. Girl, look at that. Wait, these are the options. You have like the, the gradient one, which is okay, but this is super cute. You have the actual vinyl. Look at that. It is literally so cute. Girl, we have to do a big widget. We have to do a large one. When you play the song, the vinyl actually spins. It's literally so cute. Also, um, commercial break. Can we just talk about Midnight's for a second? I know that like so many people don't like it, don't like the genre, but personally, I'm a pop girly. I love Taylor's pop era. So this one is right up my alley. Let me know what your favorite songs are. I made a full on ranking. Insert here if anyone cares. Um, it changes every single day. Anyways, let us move this here. And then all our color widgets, widgets. Add widget. Ooh, this countdown, if you guys are wondering, Raya, what countdown is that? That is actually a Christmas countdown. Okay, you know what? Let's all lay it out here for now so we know what we're working with. I feel like I'm adding way too many widgets. Hold on, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Ooh, wait, do I like this layout? Hmm, I just love how the vinyl is spinning. I'm literally obsessed, but let's change the widget. Let's do widget number two. What's widget number two? Ooh, the calendar, that one's cute. And then this one, widget three, reminders. Nice, that's cute. Girl, I'm like obsessed with gradients, so I literally made the background of all of these widgets gradients. Next, widget four. Wednesday, okay, I do like that. This one, widget five, are we at five now? The clock, okay, and then widget six. Ooh, what is that? Delete this one, because that's extra. This one for sure has to be on top because it's the, the day. Let's do this here. Okay, that just looks awkward. Wait, there. And then, ooh, okay, let's just do it here so it's like not super widget heavy on just one side. Okay, that just looks horrible. Okay, I think this reminder we have to delete and make it a smaller one instead. Okay, perfect. Okay, and this one actually you can add controls, which is just so convenient. So here, show controls, show love button. So look, wait guys, I literally, I think I'm obsessed with this layout. Ugh, you know what, now I'm like, I wish I could change the background of this vinyl or like change the vinyl itself and make it a gradient. Like if it was like the Moonstone vinyl, girl. That would be so cute. So now let's fix the apps. So here in the main page, we want to keep the apps that I use all the time. Obviously, all the streaming apps. YouTube and YouTube Studio can stay there. Where is my Amazon here? Amazon Prime Video. I will put Mail because Mail is also very important. Or do I want to put Amazon next to Prime Video? You know what? Let's do that. I watch Netflix the most. So we're going to put her in the middle. Kindle to remind me 
need to read. Okay, honestly, we don't need the calendar anymore since we have a huge calendar widget. Procreate, I use quite a bit as well. Photos can also stay. Sheets, girl, I don't use sheets at all. Delete app. Good notes. Yes, I think good notes and procreate. Wait, remove slides. Oh, Spotify. Yeah, Spotify for sure needs to be in the main page. Let's do books. Procreate, Kindle, Spotify, books, Kindle. Honestly, I don't really open my mail that much here, so we can put her in the edge. Ooh, I do use Google Docs a lot. You know what, we're getting rid of Amazon. Buy Amazon. We're adding Google Docs to the main page. Okay, we'll put Spotify there. There, Kindle. We'll do Good Notes here. Pinterest, Mail, Docs. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, here, what do we delete? We're, we're deleting To-Do List. Bears, MD Clock, Widgets at SD. <laughs> Widget Smith, goodbye. Smile to. Oh, there's still so many. Pixar, yeah, we can delete. I don't really edit on my iPad. Cooking City, delete canvas. Translate, magnifier, delete. I'm gonna just transfer everything here so that we only have two windows. Yeah, I don't really like having a ton of apps because it stresses me out. Now let's edit the order of all the apps here. I use clock a lot, calculator, reminders. Let's bump her up. Amazon, but let's do calendar and Google calendar. So all the calendars are next to each other. CNN, all the knowledge stuff. <laughs> Notes. I'll put my games next. My favorite game on the iPad is Cooking Madness. This one over here. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty high up. Google Drive. Oh, I should have put Google Drive here. Let's move Amazon down. We also need to customize the side widgets. Let's just delete everything. Again, I think it's just easier to start fresh. Customize. What do we want? We definitely want CNN. I think batteries could be helpful, especially if I am using my AirPods. Mm, dictionary, word of the day. Always love it. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's just do a super quick iPad tour, what's on my iPad, let's do it. So we're just gonna run through it super quick because you obviously saw me customize this. Definitely my streaming apps are the most used apps. Let's do a, what have we been watching recently? I just love talking like pop culture and that kind of stuff with you guys. I am considering unsubscribing to HBO Go. They always have like one show that I really wanna watch. First, they had the Sex and the City reboot and recently it was Drag Race Philippines, but now that those two are over, I'm like, what's the point? Right now I am re-watching Gossip Girl for like the 10th time. Netflix, okay. Still re-watching Gilmore Girls. Yesterday I also started re-watching 13 Reasons Why. I haven't seen the show since it first came out, which was when I was a, a junior in high school. So like 2016, 2017. I am considering resubscribing to Amazon Prime. The last thing I watched was Cinderella, which was like, I think last year and it was pretty bad. Oh my gosh, they have Don't Worry Darling. Rent the movie for 19.99, no. Sorry, Harry. Okay, and then we have Spotify, obviously. We've been listening to Midnight's. Good Notes, Procreate, Books, Kindle. Last thing I read was It Starts With Us. I read until chapter five, and I don't know if I'm gonna continue it, honestly. Like, I'm not really into the, the switching perspective. The reviews have also not been great, so <laughs> that's also been a little discouraging. Photos, Gmail, Docs, Pinterest, some more apps you've already seen, Cooking Mad, Madness. Let me just show you because this is my favorite iPad game. I just have to put you guys on it. I told you guys I, I'm pretty good at this. Level 522 and it's like a nice little cooking game. I love just stressing myself out. You know, you just make some food. It's really nice. Anyways, this pizza game is also super nice. I think last year I was super into this. Like I would literally play it every day. This one's just like if you need to get your mind off of things. You add the sauce, add the cheese, pepperoni, beef, mushrooms. There's so many. Olives, like it's just so relaxing. I love this game. And that's it. That's everything on my iPad. Thank you guys so much for a accompanying me as I customize my iPad. I am so, so happy with the results. Let me know if there are any other iPad videos or like tech 
whatever college videos just let me know any video requests you may have if you like this video girl make sure to give it a thumbs thumbs up a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you when i see you for another video bye girl